Hey guys, it's Lisa and Melissa, and today we're going to be doing a Types of Customers video. <coughs> Basically, we are waitresses at our parents' restaurant, and we see different types of customers every single day, from rude to nice to obnoxious. We're just going to tell you about the types of customers that we see. So let us know down below if you are any one of these customers, or if you work at a restaurant, or work anywhere where you encounter any of these customers, and if they annoy you too, or if you like them too, or anything. Let us know down below if you're any one of them. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm gonna stop rambling and get into the video. Yay! Number one, the disappointing customers. These are the customers that are so overly nice that when you bring them out anything, they're like, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. And then they leave a bad tip. I don't know, it's just like, nice people usually give nice tips. Number, Number two, two, the cheap customers. <coughs> oh, how much for extra guac? For extra shrimp or chicken or beef or whatever it is. That's gonna be a dollar. No, 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 no never no, mind. If you want it, you pay for it. And they're like, like no. Nah. Bye. Like, what do you mean? If you want it, you gotta pay for it. It's not like everything is free. You get like extra sauce for something like they'll start charging you like oh like 25 cents for extra sauce or whatever so there's those customers that are like oh let me just let me be smart about this and then they like pay the bill and then get the sauce and then get the after. sauce after i'm like you smart i don't even like blame them for that but that's like pretty smart number three the intimidating these people when they walk through that door and they sit down they just so serious they don't even smile like hey okay. how are you i'm lisa i'll be your server today I'm ready. Okay, what can I get for you? Can I get 319? Any drinks? Water. Soda. What kind of soda? Coke, Pepsi, root beer, Fanta. They just don't smile and they're scared. It's just really intimidating because like you go up and they're like they're just so serious. Like you think they don't like the food. You can't tell because they have no food facial like, expression. Hi, how's everything so far? Good. good. But they leave a good tip though. Usually. Mm -hmm. So better than the disappointing, you know? Number four. Oh, four. The so in love, oh my gosh. <coughs> when I worked, there was this couple and they came in holding hands and like we have booths at the restaurant. So like they come in, sit on the same side. These are the couples that always sit on the same side no matter what, or they sit on the opposite side, but then they hold hands across the table. Why? Too much PDA, man. Oh, I just, go ahead. You made me lose my train. <laughs> the worst part is when you go up to take their order and they're just looking at each other. Like why you don't even exist. Like why are you even in public if you're only gonna focus on each other? You know what I mean? It's just it's annoying. Those people that like the ones that feed each other, like they take up the food and they feed the other one like you have hands. It just makes it awkward for us because when we come up and you guys have to like separate your hands from each other. Move it. And then it's just Thank like you. Too awkward because like you guys smile at each other and then we're just standing there like Oh, let me just put the- oh, your hands are there. I can't put the plate there, bro. Okay. It's like we don't even want to ask you how everything is because I'm sure everything's going great with your lover on the other side of the booth or actually right next to you. Mm -hmm. Like there's these two people and they sit on the same side and they're always together. They order for each other and let each other share about. the drinks and then like and he needs something. He doesn't even turn to look at you. He just puts his hand up or just like just wait. But the thing is, like his back is turned. Like he's not even facing us. Turned thing. away from us because like, the booths are like one, two. So like this would be the booth, and then this is him facing this way, and we're this way. So he would be like, but doesn't even turn. God. Number five, the rude customers. These are the people that literally, when they walk in that door and they sit down, they're like, I'm ready to order or like you are clearly working with another table and they're just like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. We're we ready to you. order. We're like, not blind. There will be so many times where I'm holding like tons and tons of yeah, like, exactly. just dirty plates and stuff that I have to bring to the back before I talk to any other customers, obviously. And there will be those customers that are like, excuse me. Like, okay, I see you. I'm ready. Like, I know, but I'll come back to you in a second. He's like, what do you want me to do? Take your order while I'm holding all these things in my hand. <laughs> there was this one time, this lady, she ordered the wrong item off of the menu oh and she started cursing us out for it. And then our dad came out and he was like, oh, what did you order? Trying to like solve things with her. 
she goes oh this is what i ordered but the girl gave me the wrong thing and then her dad's like oh um what you just said is actually this that we brought out and then she's like no this is not what i ordered and then she started cursing him out for no reason no reason at all and then she started calling all of us liars and that we were deceiving god and then she took a cigarette Smoking smoking which is illegal by the way when she came up to the register to pay she literally threw her money at me and i wasn't even gonna say anything because it looked like she was like on drugs i didn't want to mess with that so i just let her be oh, i don't know where she is now it's just so rude i don't get it so rude. some people don't have manners like i don't expect you to but like at least have a little bit <laughs> Number six, the creepy customers trying to flirt in the most weirdest ways possible. Oh and sometimes God. they are so old, it's insanely I creepy. I can think of one specifically. He looks like maybe like mid 40s. Every time I go up, look, he's a regular customer, but every time I go up, I'm like, hi, is there anything else I can get for you? He goes, your number. It's so like, creepy. Like, and like, he just like, gives, like, give a slight smile and just walk backwards yeah, slowly. Like, yeah, like, I have to like slide myself backwards because like, I don't know what to say. I'm just like, yeah, I can't give you that. He just like gives like that creepy smile. Some customers do have that creepy smile. They're just like... And then like you just... <laughs> One time a guy, kid you not, literally had a child with him. And he leaves a note like in Vietnamese, because like we're Vietnamese. He wrote it in Vietnamese and he was like, girl, you're pretty. And then he left his number and was like, call me. He had a kid. Not to mention, that note was on a school supplies list. That's so messed up, man. Last but not least, number seven. seven. The awkward customers. The oh type of customers God. that, <laughs> they're so awkward. I can't even explain how they're awkward so they awkward, are. They're so awkward, they make you feel awkward. Yeah. But you're like, hi, how are you? Like, oh, nicely. And they're like, oh, God. It's just like, like double the awkward. Like, let me, let me take the order. And then... But like, I can't really take it if you're not going to talk. They're the ones that like, can't look at you in the eye. Like, they yeah. just stare down there. Like, <laughs> they just... It's just um, sometimes when they don't know what to get, they just look at their their um, friend, friend or friend their parent or whatever, whatever, and they're just like like as if they're like communicating through eye contact or something. And then we're left waiting like, you guys need another minute? And they're like, no, 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 we're ready. And then it's just like, okay, what can I get for you? And they're like, uh, and then it's just like, it's awkward. And then they're like. It's like a, a it's whole awkward. minute. That's what of, it of is. Silence. Like you don't know what to do, and they don't know what to do. Like they're confused on what they even want to get. Why? <laughs> so those are the customers that that's are good. the most memorable, honestly, and that's what we came up with. If you can think of any other types of customers, any that piss you off, any that make you happy, anything, comment them down, down below. below. Otherwise. That's about it. Yeah, we hope you got a laugh out of this video, maybe, or found it relatable in some way. But we'll try and make another video soon. We're really bad at this. We just suck at making videos. We know, like, we're terrible at it. We just gotta whip out the camera sometimes and just start talking to it. We'll work on it. So, until next time, bye.